In this video, I'm going to show you how I roast my coffee. For this particular roast, I will be using an Ethiopian coffee that I picked up from a local roaster in town. You can also pick up green beans from SweetMarias.com. I'll put the link in the description. This canister that you see here was actually ordered from Sweet Maria's, and what it does is allow the coffee to degas after roasting by way of this one-way valve on the bottom. You should always allow your coffee to degas for at least a day or two after roasting for best results when brewing. Now onto my current setup. I'm using a highly modified West Bend Poppery 2. There are many tutorials out there for modifying popcorn poppers. Make sure you do lots of research and you fully understand all of the risk involved before attempting to modify your machine. One of the mods to my machine was ventilation. I needed more airflow to my motor in order to get the beans moving so I drilled many holes in the case to increase the airflow to my roast chamber. Uh, here you can see I drilled a hole into the back of the chamber. This hole is to allow the addition of a K-type temperature probe so that I can monitor the progress of the roast and make sure it's not moving too fast or too slow. So to control the speed of the roast, I need to be able to control the temperature of the chamber as the roast progresses. The first thing I did was separate the heating coil from the fan um, and they are both wired back to this uh, white box here. Uh, the dimmer controls the fan. I can push it to turn it on and off and the switch controls the heating element. This box is hooked up after the switch but before the heating element and it is a rheostat that allows me to control the temperature of the heating element during my roast. So at this point what I'm doing is um, I'm getting the coffee roaster preheated. I like to get it uh, preheated to about 130 degrees Celsius before I add my uh, coffee beans. So I'll get it preheated up to then and then I'll add the coffee beans. So what I'm doing here is I'm at the very beginning I'm holding the coffee roaster at an angle. Uh, what this does is allows the beans to move around a little bit easier at the beginning as they're more, uh, more dense and heavier. Um, as the roast progresses I'll let it sit straight up a little bit more. Here I'm gonna give a look here. These are the beans uh, just at the beginning stages. They might be slightly uh, yellow but Nowhere near what the yellow we're looking for, so this is pretty much right at the beginning. Still green. Uh, they're moving around in there pretty good. And then uh, I'll go ahead and fast forward to some uh, some other shots afterwards, but this is the very beginning. These are the green beans just kind of in the drying stage right now. Okay, so this is about four minutes into the roast. Uh, these beans are about 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and as you can see, they're starting to turn a little bit yellow. And they're really moving around in there. Okay, so now we're about six minutes into the roast. Uh, and, uh, these beans are about 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, they're starting to get a little bit of a cinnamony color. They have not reached first crack yet. They're very, very light, light cinnamon. Here we're about seven and a half minutes into the roast and these beans are about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, they're starting to pick up a lot, a lot more color now. Um, definitely a uh, much darker cinnamon color going on there.
So here we're about 12 minutes into the roast. Uh, we're hitting first crack and the bean probe is right about 400 degrees and rising. And you can see all the chaff flying off right now. It's just looks like it's snowing. Can't even see in the chamber very well because the chaff is coming off so bad. And the temperature is just rising very rapidly. We're already at about 419 degrees Fahrenheit just in that short of, this short amount of time here. And if you'll notice, the probe reading over there says 220. Um, that is about 430 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning in just 43 seconds, uh, the beans went from 400 degrees to 430 degrees. And at this point in the roast, the beans uh, gain temperature very quickly, very rapidly. So you have to watch very closely so that they don't uh, catch on fire. At this point, uh, the beans are cooling. I've turned the heating element off. Um, these are a, a full city roast. I roasted them fully cleared past uh, first crack and then uh, just a little bit longer to help the uh, roast colors even out a little bit. So here I wanted to demonstrate how much um, the coffee expands when it's roasted. Um, as you can see right here is about how full it was with the green beans. And now, as you can see, I, don't, I can't fit all of the beans back in that same amount of space. So there you have it. There's the coffee. I'll let this rest for about a day or two. And then I'll have beans that are... Uh, fully ready to be ground and brewed for delicious coffee.